man's most magnificent achievement in the conquest of space, the man-made planetoid Space Academy, founded in the star year 3732. Here we have gathered young people from the farthest reaches of all the known worlds. They have been chosen for their unique abilities and are being trained to cope with the mysterious, the unknown, the unpredictable dangers lurking in the vast darkness of space. We are now orbiting the planet Sira, beyond the Sagittarius constellation. And this is our newest visitor, the comet Janus. It is, as you can see, a double nucleate comet system, and it takes its name from the Roman god Janus, who had two faces, and who taught mankind many things, according to legend, including the science of mathematics and agriculture. It's interesting to note... Stand by! Stand by! Yellow light alert! Yellow light alert! Comet Janus is changing course. Initiate emergency collision procedure. All personnel proceed to emergency stations. Commander Gampo, report to control center with blue team. Report to control center immediately. Morocco. That will be all, thank you. Rendezvous, 30 seconds. Yes, sir. Loki, go get people. And Tigar, too. Why me? Why do I have to go in? Loki, move it. That goes for all of us. The Comet Janus is on a collision course with the Academy. Impact in approximately 10 hours. That will give you time to reach it, land, and you will have only two hours to evaluate. On Janus? But isn't a comet just a ball of space dust? Not exactly, Adrian. The nuclei of comets sometimes varies and includes solid mass as well as inertial energy. What you're saying is, it's a hunk of rock. What Paul is saying is that what we have is a double nucleate comet system. So it's two hunks of rock. That's close enough, Loki. Now then, I want you to take samples and run carbon tests if possible. Those functions are yours, Adrian, and yours, Paul. Tigar will remain here with me in control, so will Loki. Chris, I've ordered tech knife charges put aboard the Seeker. You and Laura will place them to act as deflective blasts and then get away with alacrity, understood? Yes, sir. Any questions? They can't go on this mission without me. I'm indispensable. What? Indispensable! I'm sure it'll be very difficult, Loki, but they'll do their best to get along without you. But they need me. I need you, Loki. Remember, Chris, if those comets aren't deflected and we should be hit, the Academy could be severely damaged, even destroyed. Now, on your way, and good luck. Yes, sir. been tested for organic residue. From Sierra? Paul, how long have you had this?
Where's set, people? Affirmative. Set and lock. Which comet did you pick, Chris? The closest one. We should make it in about 30 minutes at cruise speed, if the two planetoids maintain their position. Well, why wouldn't they? The instruments indicate the farthest planetoid is accelerating. Hmm. That's strange. You chase me for a while, then I chase you. Nothing like the proper scientific terminology. The closer planet seems to be slowing down. Are you sure, people? Affirmative. The farthest planetoid is gaining momentum. It will intercept three hours, 11 minutes. That's an hour after we get there. Okay, people. Let me know if anything changes. Oracle. Order received and carried out. planetary sample probably indicates a common origin of the solar system next free period i'd like to learn more about that adrian i didn't know you were interested in geology chris maybe because he has such an interesting teacher all people are interesting laura is very interesting i love you laura right here in front of everybody i pay them no mind people i love you too Pamela Barnett. Chris, we've registered an acceleration on the second planetoid, apparently resulting from some gravitational pull, or perhaps something else. For whatever reason, you will not have much time on Janus 1. Right, sir. People computes will only have an hour. Be careful, Chris. Control out. You know, either Gampu is ensured that we can complete this mission on our own, or he feels... Or he's got a hunch we're likely to run into something dangerous. Well, either way, we'll soon find out. Touchdown in 41 seconds. Chris, look at that rock strata. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? Look at those colorations. Testing atmosphere. Life support tests. People? Affirmative and positive. All readouts normal. No life support necessary. People, that's impossible. Of course it's impossible, but it's true. Look at this rock formation. It runs everywhere. Please. It's like a network of veins stemming from an artery. They cover everything. Hey, look, over here! What is it? Oh, I think I saw it move. Oh, some sort of volcanic or seismic activity. I gotta get a sample of this to take back. Chris, look! It's bleeding! You're right. What was that? What did you see, people? I didn't see. I heard something. A cry. A sound of pain. We didn't hear anything. Nevertheless, I did. That rock! Chris, this whole planetoid... It's alive. Chris, we better call Gampu. It was our mission to change the course of the planetoid. Not yet. I want to be sure what we found here first. We are sure. This planetoid is an alien life form. Alive but sick. Perhaps dying. Then we've got to help it survive. Oh, sure. But how do you treat a sick planet? I mean, it isn't one of your run-of-the-mill, everyday cold in the heads. Listen, Chris, I think we should check in first. You know, if you wait much longer, you'll have to choose between saving a planetoid or saving the Academy. I'm not calling in, Laura. We came here to work things out on our own responsibility. People, how long do we have? 84 minutes to collision with the Academy. 58 before rendezvous with Janus 2. People, you said rendezvous? Janus 2 has slowed its approach. And it's alive, too. The way it accelerated must mean it's in better shape than Janus 1. 
Maybe it was, maybe it was trying to uh, cut us off, prevent us from landing. Probability 0.999 positive. Now we know this planetoid is alive. If we only knew what was wrong with it, we could... Why don't you ask it? What? Beepo, is this planetoid intelligent? Of course. Otherwise, how can I communicate with it? You were talking to it? Affirmative. Its name is Ergo, and it uses magnetic pulsing for communicating. Much more efficient than vocal sounds. Hey, people. Do you think you could uh, help us communicate with Ergo? Anything for you, Laura. I will convert the frequency so that you can hear Ergo speak. I am Ergo. I forgive you. You forgive us? For what? For chopping off pieces of me. Oh, Ergo, we're sorry. We didn't know you were alive. That's why I forgive you, Adrian. You know my name. Pippo told me. He also told me why you are here. You are going to blow me into pieces. That's not true. We're using small charges to change your course so you don't run into our space academy. But I am weak. You will still hurt me. We don't want to do that. You can help us by changing your present course. There isn't much time. My sensors told me there were intelligent life forms in this galaxy, and I used the last of my free energy to come here. You mean you can't change your course? No, I can't. I am sorry, but it is too late. I am very sick, very sick. If I could be energized. We'll help you, if we can. Our ship is very powerful. My sensors detected radiant energy sources, but this would only destroy me. My life energy is a form of magnetic flux. I cannot convert any other form of power. I can flee no more. It is done. Tar will triumph at last. I am getting weak, but I must warn you about Targ. Who is Targ? The other planetoid, Janus 2, is Targ. <sighs> what happened to Ergo? I am losing contact. It's getting weaker. People, can you run an electroanalysis of Ergo? Affirmative. There is an alternating flux pattern cycling at 27,500. If we could match that frequency, we could feed Ergo all the energy he needs. An electronic transfusion. Let's go. Paul, you stay here. Are right, you going to have to find a vital spot in Ergo for this receiver to work? Yes, I am. Well, get going. Yes, sir. Find Ergo's heart rock. He's faint. Let's lead to it. We'll implant it right here. There it is. Frequency 27,500. Chris, look! It's Targ. Oh, it's so frightening. But well, if looks count for anything, I'd hate to be alone with that thing. Do not interfere. This is Targ. As soon as Paul's ready, we'll put the transmitter on full power. Stand by, Laura. I'll have the receiver planted in a minute, Chris. Here goes life force. is cycling at 23,000 and slowing. Oh. Hurry, Paul! I'm doing my best! <sighs> Cycle slowing. Ergo is dying. Right, we're ready. Now! Laura, hit it! Full power! Chris, it's on and peaking. Cycle is gaining. 18, 20, 23,000. I warned you, do not interfere.
Thank you for trying, my friends. What I wanted to warn you about is Tar. He is a criminal. He is out to destroy anyone, anything, including your space academy. It's Todd! He's taking the ship! And Lori's on board! force field holding Laura back. We've got to do something. What, Chris? We can't reach the Seeker. We are approaching the Academy. We must change course. Ergo, help us. I cannot help you. I am not energized enough to fight Tar. He has the energy from your ship. I must escape him. Now, find a new energy source somewhere. Please, Ergo. Use your energy against Targ. Help us free Laura. You don't understand. I have very little energy left. If I use it against Targ, it could mean my life. Please, Ergo. If you don't use it, it'll mean Laura's. You are right. I will try. on the way. Chris? Laura. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> Is the transmitter still locked on? Mm-hmm. It's no use, Chris. The receiver's had it. I will be your receiver. Great, people. Laura, give him full power. Right away. People, stand by. Thank you. I will be all right now. All right, Ergo, prepare for takeoff. I guess I better report into control. Uh, this I want to hear. This I want to see. Take her to Academy Control. 
Come in. Hey, Chris, long time no hear or see ya. Uh, how'd it go? Everything went according to plan, Tigar. Just one thing. We're bringing home a patient for you. Who's hurt? Janice. Would you please repeat that statement, Captain Gentry? Well, Commander, I think I'd rather have you see it for yourself. Take a look outside. Now I've seen everything. Thank you.